What up, everybody? It's me, Morgan. I'm here with James, and we are looking at a game called Tower Princess, which has just come out. Uh, we received a free uh, key from the publisher. <laughs> James, what are you doing over there? You can see me? <laughs> yeah, I can oh. see you. What are you looking on? Uh, the publisher I is Hyper. I my mustache. Is, is Hype Train Digital. Now you got me all fluff, flustered. Uh, Hype <laughs> okay, you all fluffed? <laughs> you got me all you got fluffed. that fluffer in there. <laughs> the video is Hype Train. <laughs> Gosh dang it. The publisher is... Let me, let me, just, let me take it from here. We are professional... <laughs> Gamers. Fluffers, and uh, <laughs> today we're playing some games. Actually, this specific game we got a key for. <laughs> it's called Tower Princess, from the same people that brought you Stone Shard, uh, mm -hmm. which Morgan and I were both big fans of. Breath but edge. just because we got a freak police Breath stories, edge. police yeah. stories. Yeah, uh, it, I liked that game. I don't remember if you liked it that much. They have a new title coming out that's called uh, "There Is No Light." That looks like an action RPG that I'm very excited for. So I think this is an action RPG. This is also, but I had never heard of this one, the other one. And they are yeah, also, this is, I mean, going to date the uh, the video, but the Hype Train is on a, a publisher weekend on Steam. So they do have uh, some stuff going on. Today is the first day I'm parsecing into Morgan, and we're playing with his new uh, XLR. Once upon a time in a faraway land. Oh my. Ooh. Oh. An evil dragon kidnapped all the princesses of every known kingdom. Oh. <laughs> That's your girl. That's you. That's your voice. You just spammed past it. We're supposed to be learning. I didn't spam Be bad. prepared to fight itself. if you want to rescue a princess. And earn her heart. Okay. It, does mouse and keyboard work only, or? No, I'm using the controller. I just. Wait. Okay, so we got dodge. Ooh, you locked out and not got not getting stabbed by that thing. I don't think you need to kill that thing. Maybe you need to kill that guy first. I think you need to talk to that sign. <laughs> the evil is dragon is really powerful, but no one has seen him and survived to tell it. Now he's preparing something at the highest level of the highest tower of this castle. It's going to be a long journey. Uh, why is this? Why is the cardboard cutout talking? I don't know. Oh. Um. Can you look down and see if that's not what I would have done? Can you shimmy along the edge of the wall? I think I gotta. Yeah. Uh... Oh. So I think you hit it once and then you go to yeah. go over there. Yeah, no duh. <laughs> don't no don't no dummy. <laughs> no dummy. Well, we, we both just watch watched it in, at the same time. And one of us articulated it out loud while the other silently struggled to figure out the puzzle. Hey, I'm killing literally all this stuff. Okay. You're doing a good job. Humdrum life potion. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Wait, what was what was dodging? In? <laughs> oh yeah, right trigger. Alright. Uh I would try not to get hit by those spikes. They do a damage. That's totally a secret room, right? Can you go down in the elevator? Why would I not be interested in that money? Uh oh. Common pinata. Spawns of pinata that has more objects. Some enemies are harder to defeat. Look for their weak spots or learn their behaviors. I can't solve everything with violence? Like, what's the point? Oh, I I've got to hit it be. and then run. Oh. 
Well, you're lucky that you've been missing all of those arrows flying back and forth. Oh, you have target enemy. You got a special attack. That's good. This is so soul -sick. Uh, My guess is you got to hit that blue foggy area. Good job. It feels interesting. So you can spawn these pinatas with the left button on the D-pad. Oh. And then get more items from it. Oh, brave knight, I'm up here. Those are probably spikes. You got a full okay. backpack, so I would use use that other um Well Is that a candle? Wow, you, you see candles everywhere you go. Is that a candle, man? Oh bro, am I looking at a candle right now? <gasps> bro. Um uh, this is weird, but I saw an advertisement the other day and it was um like for these uh, sunglasses that you could like put uh, hold up candles into the arms, and they refer hold to them up. as are you talking? They refer to them as candles. Oh, you're talking about uh, rolled up smokable devices? Candles that are candles, but not actual candles. They were calling <laughs> candles. Yeah, they were. You calling think that it. we've started a new trend? I think so. All right. <laughs> So the princess actually helps you. Yeah, she got little powers. You got oh, a full backpack. backpack. Well, use your pinata. I don't know what any of this says. It says fortune changer, consumable. Randomly switches all the loot on the floor, so you could use that to see wet a blow wet pipe? blow pipe. Actually, that sounds pretty yeah, good. I definitely want a wet blow pipe. Okay, get out of there. Uh, what do you think about these graphics? I like it. This is this is a style I enjoy. Yeah, it's kind of like um, it looks almost cell shaped. It's fifty fifty for me because I feel like the uh, oh okay we're going back to this. I feel like the uh, maybe the night and the environment are like two different styles. Yeah, a little. It feels like uh, it's retro graphics. If yeah. retro graphics were Super Mario sixty four. Like, you know how, like, everything retro was, like, 8 bits, then it was, like, 16 bit for a while? Yeah. This is the new retro graphics. Wait, where'd that princess go? Oh, these are more knights. Hello. Oh, I wonder if I, you can eventually beat these guys. Greetings, fellow knight! Welcome to the dragon's castle! Mountains of loot, lots of princesses, and countless dangers await you at the other side of that door in there. All of us comes looking for that. So we're doing some work out here to get prepared for the to the challenge. So this is the Firelink Shrine, basically? Yeah. Uh, this is more like there is a little oh, more complex a market you can than get, Firelink you can get, Shrine. Get a gun? Come on, talk to me, bro. All the signs talked before. I want to buy a gun. Okay, if there's... Ooh, hello. <laughs> what the hell are we looking at? You want me to be the reader? Yeah. My greetings, lost knight. I'm Vertruvius, the scholar of the dungeon. I have been studying this place for ages, and I dare to say that I know some of its secrets. Things that cannot be seen. If you are fit enough to survive until our next meeting, I'll be more than glad to share some of my knowledge with you. Oh. Ad Astra Persebasibera. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, French. So this is like a, a roguelike. Yeah, seems like it. Oh, hi, gentle knight. Did you come to rescue me? I'm sure you did. Knights do love to rescue princesses, fight dragons, and do heroic things. Am I crazy, or is this a baby dragon? Because you came to rescue me, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, that you. princess looks like a dragon in hiding. Oh, and then she follows me around and we can use her powers. Uh... Oh, so each princess will probably have different powers. Yeah. Oh, hey, gentle knight. I'm Cobalt Shopkeeper, and this used to be my humble workshop. 
where I've been helping knights like you. Who is talking? Uh, but now I'm jailed here. I guess it's not very cool. Uh, ball, not every cobalt understands my trade. Is he behind that gate? Yeah, yeah, he's that little piece of paper. Luckily, this jail is still part of my workshop, so I can still upgrade your rusty armor from here, but only a few basic improvements. Give me that token you have, and let me show you what I can do for you, gentle knight. That is the piece of paper. So, sense fortress. Those traps won't stop my love. Did she stay behind? Ooh. Oh, she just teleported. How nice. That's a nice feature. This is a very different style of game from Stone Shard, but one thing I would say is it has like almost similar color scheme. Oh, uh, interesting. Do you think that's true or am I just making that up in my head? I don't know. I mean, Stone Shard was definitely like a lot of like purple. Yeah, and there seems to be a lot of purple. Oh, okay, that's good to know. So, uh, I guess it was yesterday morning, I was just kind of uh, doing laundry at the same time as messing around playing some games. And I turned on, I don't, I think it might be a remaster, but it was Alice Return to Madness. Oh yeah, uh, for Xbox. Uh, Xbox, yeah. It was okay. Uh, I certainly, like, once I put it down, I was like, I'll never play that again, but I was glad I tried it. <laughs> um, but uh, Aaron saw it over my, the corner of my shoulder, and she started watching the Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland movie, and then we both ended up finishing it, and it was really good. Oh, is that your first I time? I remember... Well, I've seen it before, but I didn't remember liking it as much the first time. Um, I watched it in 3D, and it was one of the last movies that I watched in 3D, and I was like, I I'll saw never, it in 3D, too, and I'll I never totally watch it agree. Again. I was disappointed in 3D. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I'm an Olympic princess, and I believe in fitness. Getting out of this jail is just the start of a longer run. Who, yeah. Okay. I mean, I wish you would have let me read this. I'm enthralled with the prop. With the prop. <laughs> but you're not letting me read it. I want to know what's going on with that little tiny door, which is what made me think of Alice in Wonderland, because in I the don't... game you can, like, shrink, and you see different things when you're small. Well, this reminds me of uh, Fall Guys. Not yeah, that they have I'm ownership on moving platform floors. I mean, this uh, game's combat looks like a lot of fun. It's strange to me that the princess is... Well, I wonder what, what's... Oh, wait, I think you missed another object. The princesses are little dragons, just like the enemies you fight. I think a lot of the stuff you're doing is totes basic. <laughs> I could picture myself getting a turn in any second. Three hours later. A map. Take this stamp and go away. Ask for the remaining papers and don't bother for me. Bother me. Now go and find two of the other two bureaucrats. You need to complete the paperwork to get your map. Aw, I hate that. Better hit the food before it gets burnt. Oh. You gotta uh, knock it to the sides. Okay, that wasn't bad. Then where does it go? We'll see. That lever must lower the stove fire. So I think there's a, lo a lever at the other end, so you just gotta follow the food all the way there. Just oh, so now you gotta get there. We go. So now, what you gotta do is you gotta put the food in the other two. Yeah. Oh, but you're gonna fight Flavian in between. Oh, did you? Nice job, Hila. Oh, I hit the trap. Oh, wait, what? I don't think I'm ever going to die. I'm gonna give you controls and we'll see how well you do. James's first time, guys. Oh, choose your knight. The guy with the gun. Lady Ramira Donaldson? Uh-huh. 
or Lady Ramulida Bannister. Freaking gun. Oh, gentle knight, I'm so excited. Is this a gift for me? I'd love to see what you've brought me. There are some trinkets in the dungeon that may help a princess get more confidence. And the more confident a princess is, the more powerful her magic. I can't wait for you to pick me up and bring me here to deliver the gift. I'll be waiting at the hall, gentle knight. Olympic princess unlocked. New gift unlocked. Oh, I'm very excited for this musket. What is the attack button? You got it. Okay. Um, I forgot how violent your camera movements were. You forgot? Yeah. Hello there, that armor. Are you also preparing to escape from this castle? Great. I'm the Olympic princess and I was preparing myself for such a challenge. Running is great, but it's even better in a company. Do you want to be my running partner? Perfect. It's gonna. I have Did one it, right? job, Jabs. One job. I, I didn't mean it. I thought it was done. As a demi goddess, I used to live in my temples, but for me, the true temple of the soul is the body. Sick. Eddy, eddy, eddy. Oh. So one is a swing, one is a shoot. Uh, right, well, push down on the right like stick to uh, look at it. There it is. Now you can shoot it. Shoot it. Hell yeah. <laughs> You're a wild man. Ooh. Yeah, you're almost dead. That's a lot of shots. What is the difference between, like, I can't seem to just do like a regular attack. You, you're only doing the regular attacks when you have to on like a, uh, that is your regular attack. You have a musket. So I don't, I can't just swing melee at the small stuff in front of me. I think so. I want to like find something to heal up with, you know what I mean? Oh, there we go. Can't target that? No. I don't know why my princess isn't helping at all. You have to hit left bumper for so she does her thing. Oh. Oh. You're a wild man. What is that? That's her helping. That is a nice, uh, I don't know what it did, but it seemed pretty nice. You got got. Well, that turn sucked. <laughs> yeah, Can you, you want to try take again? Over? No. You don't want to try again? No, I don't want to try again. I want I want to take turns. Like, what, what what kind of monster would I be if I stole your turn? It's your turn now. Off me, brah. All right, we're going full. You're gonna musket. try the musket? Yeah. I think the sword is stronger. <laughs> The gun looks a little stronger in your hands than it did in mine. Uh -huh. Well, cute. Well, that's a cool looking enemy. But what did that do? Oh, maybe oh. that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Humdrum life potion, that's it? He heals you a lot. Yeah, but it's something that you have found, like you have found just by killing a regular enemy. It doesn't seem like a treasure. Oh, my God. 
Don't forget to use her powers. Well, you don't really need them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't decide what I prefer. The heroic way you walk, the smell of your armor, or the fact that you've rescued me. Oh. Wow, those guys die pretty quick to gunshot wounds. I you said this was weak. Well, I think I leveled it. Oh. Uh. I think they they saw me use it for a bit and it made it uh, level up the weapon quite a bit. I think it's got to get activated first. And maybe until it has the blue light in its belly, you can't hit him. Yeah, that's how you do it. Nice, good job. Not bad. Not bad at all. Do you think anybody would care if I just did this in a sleeveless shirt? No. Maybe it's something would prefer, actually. <laughs> well, then, uh, then as soon as this video is over, the rest of the shirt, the show, the rest of the recording. Oh, I miss. Oh, it only shirt. takes a half a thing. Nice. Oh. oh maybe you just gotta get good. <laughs> I guess. Mindless jellies. Uh, I love like this kind of mechanic in a game where you unlock a door to make a little path shorter. Uh, it's like one of the things I love the most about the game design of Dark Souls, which is is much smaller. Like we're oh talking gosh. one platform that raises you up half of a tower's worth of space. But I just like that idea of like it's it's kind of one step forward or two steps forward, one step back. Oh. Fun stuff. Oh, you can't make that jump? Ooh, I didn't even see that. A poopy <laughs> life potion. Moon dust. dust. Where did it go? Uh, can I pick that shield? What did she say? I don't know. That, you gotta be able to pick a shield, up, right? Kobolds can be good princesses, my beloved knight. Yeah, you gotta pick up that moon dust. Makes you fabulously brilliant and invincible. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Something. It's more than just something, it's, it's a token. Oh, that is something. A big something something. Is there a map button? We gotta find the other bureaucrats to get the map. Uh, I have no idea where I come from and where I'm going. And um, I've definitely been. In uh, can I ask a question? And I don't want it to co come across as offensive to you, but something's come up in the news, and uh, it has made me think of you, and I wanted to get some information on something. I feel sick. What is it? So, oh. you have an antiphasia, right? Yeah. So, uh, have you been diagnosed with that, or is it something that you figured that you have, like you just assume? Um, it's something that I didn't even know existed, and then I read a, uh, a Reddit article about somebody discovering that they had it by reading another Reddit article. And I was like, wait, not everyone's brain works like that? And then I 
did a bunch of research. Well, I don't on know it. if it's related, but I've been seeing in the news that Bruce Willis has aphasia, which is the second part of antiphasia, it seems. So that I was wondering if it was related at all. Uh, well, I, mean, I didn't know if it was. Only in the fact that they both have. The, the word like, aphasia in it? Yeah, about the brain. I thought he had a, a form of dementia. Well, that's, I mean, it is, aphasia is, I guess, a, a form of dementia. And that's why I was wondering if it was considered, like, antiphasia, if it had something to do with that, but it's like... Um, no, it's completely separate. Oh, you can't break barrels like that. So Sad. that is dumb. That's the number one note I'd give the game right now. It's like, if you can't roll through barrels, what the hell's wrong with the game? But it also doesn't seem like there's been any time. Oh, we've been here before. But on a different run, on your yeah. tutorial run. So you might be almost to that boss again. Leveled up cryptography. Is that a bigger slime at the bottom, or is it just a, an illusion? A lot of treasure in this room. Oh, so the musket goes through these guys, too. Oh, so it, like, pierces? Yeah. That's Mark, who are you? I'm a bureaucrat. So now you, find, you gotta find one more bureaucrat to get the last piece of the map. Yeah. Granted, it was my turn to read. Yeah, you're just so slow at it, you know? No. Thorough. Articulate. I think I gotta go down and do these Sometimes slimes. you gotta get down to get up. Those little ones are one-shot kills. Nice. All right, you got him. Slime is slave. the slime, the slime slayer. This looks like cheese or something. It's gold. The yeah, big it's, cheese. It's <laughs> oh, nice. Hey, I thought you would expect you to be able to walk up around. Well, I guess. Oh, oh, and now it's open. Was this open? Oh, there you go. I think so. <laughs> You freed the entrance hall, Kabold. Nice. Oh, now we can uh, go to the workshop with that guy. Oh, that's right. Am I about to beat this game? Uh-oh, you're about to unlock the first thing in the, t in the uh, Fireling Shrine to use. <laughs> that door's gotta be important, right? Looking for the dungeon map as a knight, you have a right to ask for it. Ask for it. If you find a correctly weighted formulary, take the Pyramid 38A and start your journey. <laughs> You'll need a stamp and salmon paper to fulfill it. Ask the other two bureaucrats for it. Oh. Oh no. Now yeah, like, that you have the task, you gotta find him again? Um, as much fun as I'm having, I think that we should call it here. Um, final thoughts on uh, Tower Princess. It would be more fun if I got more turns. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> uh, but yeah. uh, it seems like a lot of fun. I, I think that, uh, I, well, I like roguelike games. These are the kinds of games you don't have to dedicate a huge amount of time to playing at once. You can pick it up, play it for a while, put it down, and uh, 
but maybe I'm wrong. It seems like one of those, like almost like um, in the same vein as not Dark Souls, but more like uh, what is that? That side-scrolling night. I don't game. think it's a roguelite. I don't. I think all that stuff was the same. Really? I think that you reset your stuff that you have when you die. I might. I don't know. I guess the real thing is we haven't had enough deaths to know what the game is like. I'd say my uh, final thoughts are undetermined. I need more. <laughs> I need more time with it to really. I think know you're gonna play the heck out of this game, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't. I would. I would play it for a couple hours if it. Uh, it I guess it depends on how the weapon progression goes. If there isn't like a like a deep crafting system or something, I probably wouldn't get hooked on it. Yeah. But it seems fun. It's fun enough. Uh, not as like the boss was challenging, but the levels were not challenging. Like the individual things. Like if you died to the regular well, enemies. Well, finding like, your way to the yeah, finding the way to the boss. Like was, anyone who it fell seems like victim to like the thing. regular enemies is probably not very good at the game. Well, let's just say both of us did at least once. Or I mean, I guess just in gaming in general. Well, thank you guys for checking out our princess. Bye-bye.